Lavender Castle. A place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest to find it. in the Galactinet on my wee computer, and guess what? Lavender Castle has its own website. It gives all the coordinates, everything. Here, let me see. It, uh, look, it, oh, oh, it's gone. Hmm. You don't suppose you imagined it, do you, Isambard? No, Captain. Look, I've written down the coordinates. <laughs> Isambard, if you're asking me to follow up what is obviously a prank, the answer is no. They'll soon be on their way. How do you know Captain Trice has fallen for it? I'm sure he hasn't. But I'm equally sure his dim-witted crew have. Now go. Yes, yes. All right. All those in favor of traveling to the position given on the Galactonet. Mm-hmm. And those against? Hmm. Sproggle. Did you vote twice? No, only once. Both times. Oh, I see. Anyway, it looks as if, much against my better judgment, we are about to go on a wild goose chase. Oh, I thought we were going to search for Lavender Castle. Oh. Though halfway between right and left. We're here. There are the peaks straight ahead. Roger, reduce speed. Now, where's Lavender Castle supposed to be? According to the coordinates, between those two rocky peaks. Huh. I would hardly expect to see Lavender Castle there. Captain, we've come all this way. We've got to take a look. I've got a bad feeling about this, Roger. Look, there's nothing there. What are you afraid of? Well, all right, but... Sol 20, Captain! <laughs> No, Roger. Gung Ho should be your middle name. Well, the view's very spectacular, but there's no Lavender Castle. Oh, I'm truly sorry, Captain. When I saw it on the web, I... Whip. I can see it. Reverse thrust. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> it worked! We've got them! Yes. And now to secure them. This isn't a website, it's the site of a web. A spider's web. Captain! The spider's coming towards us! And it's gigantic! And what do spiders do when they catch their prey? They tie them up with their thread... And then eat them! Mechanical spider, a message on the Galactonet. Such an elaborate plan could only have been conceived by one person. The paradox awaits you. Good. It's time to go. If I'm right, 
Dr. Aegon will be on his way. And when he arrives, we know what to expect. Oh, Captain, I'm so sorry. Save your apologies, Isambard. Devote your energy to devising a way to get us out of this mess. Aye, aye, Captain. I got us into this, and I'll get us out of it. <laughs> Excellent. The paradox is tied up. Thrice will have no choice but to surrender. The paradox and its crew will be mine. And I'll be able to nest in the thatched roof. This is no time to get broody, you stupid bird. I've got it! Squeaky, you're going to cut us free with your laser beams. And how will I do that, Mr. Isambard? By using my jetpack, of course. It'll be risky, Sir Squeakalot. But if we don't break free, we'll all end up as Aegon slaves. All in the line of duty, sir. Go ahead. You'll never get this thing through the peaks. You're right. We will take the mammoth machine. Now remember, Squeaky, don't get too close to the spider and fly slowly. I'll remember that, sir. Fly slowly. Oh, help! Oh, help! Listen, Bard, sir. Remind me how to stop. Oh. What's going on? I've lost control. <laughs> Yes, I remember now. To stop, you push this button. Oh, that's funny. Where's that spider gone? Oh, oh, Captain Thrice! Dr. Aegon's coming! Squeaky, hurry! Dr. Aegon's here! Keep on the other side so he doesn't see you! I'm going as fast as I can, sir. As, as soon as we're free, free, call me! I will indeed, sir. Thrice, your position is hopeless. Surrender, or I will blow you to smithereens. Never. I've told you before, Aegon. We'd rather die than be your slaves. All right, Thrice. The choice is yours. I'll give you ten seconds, just in case you change your mind. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, three, Come on, Squeaky! Five, four, three, two... Get clear, five, Squeaky! Zero. Go, go, go! They've got away. The web! Don't worry, they've broken it. They haven't. They have. They haven't. They have. You're right. They haven't. <laughs> Here he comes! Oh, good landing, too! Thanks, Squeaky. Once again, Captain. I'm sorry I caused you all this bother. I think we uncovered Dr. Aegon's web of deceit, sir. Wait a minute. Web of deceit. Uh, I think I've made a little joke, sir. Web, you see, and, and spiders build webs, and th there was a web and, and a spider, and Dr. Aegon was deceiving us, which is why I said web of deceit. Squeaky? Well, is... Don't give up your day job, mate. Oh, right. <laughs> 